if you pre-drill and you determine that you have a hollow wall, then you need to put a hollow wall anchor. This anchor here is the biggest of all. This is what is referred to as a snap toggler. And I'm going to show you how to install that. This snap toggler is the heavy dutiest of all. This one here will hold approximately 238 pounds in half inch sheetrock. So this one requires a, a solid half inch clean hole in order to accommodate this uh, metal channel, to, which was going to be on the back side of the wall. In order to get this into the wall, you have to articulate it so that the metal is flat against the plastic straps. You insert it into the wall. You see the half inch hole is just the perfect size. All right. Once it's in, you see that the straps, plastic straps are not uh, even. You want to even those out with your uh, thumb and for forefinger. And uh, you give it, make sure it's good and tight, and make sure you're not fighting with insulation on the other side. Then you have this uh, flange here, this plastic flange, that you're going to ratchet down on the plastic straps and make it tight to the wall. In this situation, I normally use uh, like a screwdriver in order to work it in tight. Once it's tight, uh, the flange is tight against the wall, then you simply just uh, snap the, top of the plastic strapping off by just going back and forth. And you want that to be flush uh, to the wall. If it's not, then maybe you need to get a pair of cutters and snip that down because that's going to uh, interfere with whatever mounting plate or bracket you're attaching. You want that as, to be as flat to the wall as possible. So again, uh, we have to put our screw fastener through the mount plate and then I normally get that started by hand. When you buy the snap togglers, normally they do not come with the different uh, fasteners because they don't know exactly uh, sure what uh, requirements you may need. So they'll be sold separately. Now I have to put my Phillips head bit on in order to draw that up tight. Now I have the correct bit. You don't have to hold this one out like you had to hold out the uh, 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 toggle bolt because this one is already secured to the uh, back of the sheetrock. It's pinched in the sheetrock. And again, I would make the final adjustments with a uh, screwdriver and make sure that it is level. And there is a little bit of slot in this uh, particular mount plate. This is for a uh, select uh, metal 1 and 3 16 inch uh, uh, wall mount bracket. This is a snap doggler. If you have the opportunity to see what it looks like on the uh, back side of the sheetrock wall. You can see that that uh, metal plate is uh, laying nice and flat and that screw would be tight. And that, like I mentioned, is going to hold the, uh, the greatest amount of uh, strength between the three. So to sum them up, we started out with a Toggler TB, which is the, uh, my primary one that I uh, use on a regular basis. Depending on the weight load, or if it's downward pressure or traversing rod uh, cord, something like that, you may want to use uh, the uh, toggle bolt. Also, uh, depending on the type of bracket, uh, that uh, it may be uh, a small footprint of bracket and you have a hollow wall, you might want to use one of these upper uh, 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 wall anchors instead of the toggler TB.